Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video on part thickness or the part workbench thickness tool that's shown here. Uh, I've started out with some basic objects and thickness already applied to them as you can see. So there are some restraints to thickness, there are some uh, limitations, um, but it's overall a great tool. Uh, you may find some trouble understanding it at first. Um, because the you know the error messages in FreeCAD are, are, are a little bit sparse, um, and you know that's to be expected as it's an open source tool that uh, is all volunteer time. So thanks to the developers for making this. I do love FreeCAD, and sorry also to viewers who come to this channel for things other than FreeCAD because I'm kind of stuck in a FreeCAD loop. But uh, that being said, you know this video is going to be for be for beginners and. You know, if you had any experience with thick for thickness, you're going to know everything in the video, so you can just uh, move on. But anyway, so I've shown uh, s shown some of the shapes here that I've set up in, in uh, with thickness, and we're going to do it again for the video, just so you can see each one and, and the process. So for uh, to use a thickness tool, I'm going to select the face that I want to remove, and then select the the thickness tool, and you see that it right away just updates it and removes that, uh, removes that face and creates a thickness. Now it only creates chamfers on the outer edges, not the inner, so you'd have to add that later. And then also you can, you can just uh, also simply do an intersection style with no chamfered edges at all. Uh, now the pipe selection doesn't seem to always work, um, but you can just simply go into faces and select, uh, reselect re the initial face you want to remove and select another one and then click OK or done, I'm sorry, and then you get your pipe effect. Uh, so you'll notice that even if I do skin, that stays. So I'm not sure why the pipe mode doesn't seem to work, but you can do the same thing with the cylinder. So I'm gonna cancel that and we're gonna add thickness here. But for the cylinder, I'll select both faces to begin with, and then you'll see I'll get a pipe right away. So that's an easy way to get a pipe. Um, and you can edit, edit the faces uh, likewise. So now it's just back to the, to the cup. Uh, the tool doesn't work on a sphere, even if you reduce the degrees of the sphere. Um, maybe someday it will. On a, on a cone, it doesn't seem to work on the deep end at first, or on the, the large end at first, but then it, then it will. Um, the way it works, just click OK to that. The way it works is, uh, you'll see it doesn't look like it does at first, but then if you uh, change the join type to intersection, you'll see it, it seems like it partially worked. And I guess there's maybe a bug that leaves the inner object. So you can just hide that and then you get your, your uh, thickness on a, of a cone. And this is a shape I created with the face uh, shape builder. I think that's what it's called. Geometric primitives, nope. So, um, so I created the uh, prism, just the, the default prism. I'm not gonna get into a wedge because that would be a little bit too complicated. So, and the same thing is true with the prism, but let's try something a little fancier. Let's select these two edges and see what the thickness does. And you see it's created a thickness with that wall removed, which I imagine is quite handy in some cases. And then the final object that I did was a, uh, a freeform sketcher polygon there. And um, so it's just a, you know, irregular with, with, with uh, and I wanted to make sure I had some acute, uh, I didn't quite get acute there, did I? But at least the, the shape is non, um, non, it's convex, convex, I'm not sure. I'm not a geometry wizard, sorry. So, but anyway, let me show you the, uh, the basic of the, of the shape. So, uh, let's find it here. There it is. So it's a sketch. So that's, that's the sketch I made there. Let's open that so you can see. So that's the sketch just with a polyline. And then I padded that sketch. And then what I finally did was because the thickness tool won't work on the sketch object, but it will work on a simple copy. So I used the part create simple copy and that got us to this body right here. So now let me work through this again so you can see how, how that works out. So we're going to just, we're going to copy this by using C and then V. I should have copied it and we'll turn it on. I'll move it over a little bit with transform and click OK. So now I have a, a copy of that simple body. And when I select the face of it and click thickness, you'll, have, you'll see the same sort of bug that we experienced here. 
Uh, first, it'll only do intersection, and I think you can understand why it would get start to get pretty complicated for um, for the uh, for the fillets or the radiuses. Uh, although I imagine someday they'll do they'll they'll do it. And you'll see also it does the same thing where it doesn't uh, doesn't automatically hide the the uh, your originating object, but you see you can just click it and click space to to hide the object, or you can just simply go into the tree view here and hide the object. So in all cases, the the originating object is still there. You'll see, but just in the case of this one, it, uh, in in case of some of them, it doesn't successfully hide. So that's my video for today. I hope this gets uh, some of the gets you past some of the mystery of the thickness tool because um, you know until you kind of take the right approach, it can it can seem like it doesn't work. Uh, especially if you're like me that started out in the part part workbench with sketches. Um, you know, I completely misconstrued the meaning of, of thickness because I thought it would add thickness to something that didn't have any. Um, and, it, and, you know, it does do that. It's adding thickness, but it has to be a solid to begin with. So it has to have three dimensions. It won't work on a line or a planar surface. So that's my video for today, and I hope you enjoyed. If you like it, make sure you subscribe. I do uh, have videos that are not free CAD, and, I, and this new year I plan to do a lot more of those. And um, make sure you click the alarm bell if you want to be notified. And check on the box and save it. So have a great day and uh, see you next free